We interrupt this program because sometimes it's most prudent to interrupt your personal programming. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. And I had a personal epiphany this week concerning a number of different things that I want to share with you in terms of talking about your program, talking about my program, I've discovered that I am prejudiced and a major snob. Oh, who wants that? So here's my story, okay? First of all, to serve and protect is written on many police cars across this country. Isn't that also the motto embraced by moms and dads? I'm talking about everything from potty training to chauffeuring your kids to events and activities and making sure that they do all the right things so that they can get into a good college to serve and protect. Isn't that the motto? Do turkeys get nervous in November? Hey, how do, what prejudice do I have? I have the prejudice that was instilled upon me mostly by my dad, my mom to some degree because she supported my dad, but mostly by my dad. And let me explain to you what that was. My sister and I, when we were growing up, knew there was no doubt, there was no question, there were no ifs, ands, or buts that we were going to go to college. That was a given. And so everything, educationally speaking, was focused in that direction. Completely unacceptable to get anything less than a B. And when you got a B, hey, we need to talk about this B. All right, my sister, the genius, and she's very smart, uh, got all A's all the time. I, on the other hand, was not quite such a genius but I very, 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 very rarely got anything less than a B. And when I did, I was called on the carpet by my dad. What's the deal with this B? Okay. And that is the prejudice that I possess. Hey, if you want to succeed, if you want to be successful, it's absolutely necessary that you have a college education. That's on the one hand. Okay. And then the question of why. Well, do you want to be a laborer all your life? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to do something? Do you want to work in construction? Is that what you want to do where you, you know, with your muscles and get sore and everything? Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to be somebody that uses their brain to get ahead? That was the prejudice. That was the given. That's what you don't want to do. Here's what you do want to do. And my epiphany came to me because of my son Eli. He and I were having a conversation and in this conversation he told me, Dad, I want to be a welder. And you know, my first response to myself was, hey, maybe this is just a phase he's going through, you know, this isn't what we brought him up to be, so on and so forth, you know, Things will change, so on. You know, things are going to change. He's going to change his mind. He's young. Stuff like that went through my mind. And with that on my mind, once again, the laws of the universe work whether you do them on purpose or whether you do them by accident. And you know me, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about this big time and I'm on the computer, you know, looking for stuff to talk about here on this channel as a matter of fact and went through you know they have on the side little articles you know the suggestions that type of thing and the ones that I normally don't look at you know are ubiquitous to me it's just like it's like going down the road and seeing a sign I ignore but then I saw one that was by a man named Mike Rowe Dirty Jobs, uh, is, he was the host of a, a show called Dirty Jobs, which I had never heard of before, because why? I wasn't interested in Dirty Jobs. So I, I went and I looked at that, and I said to myself, wow, 
completely different perspective, completely different paradigm, and I learned something from it, and not only that, but I had an epiphany, and I came to the same conclusion that I've been coming to, but I came to that conclusion from a completely different direction. As those of you that have seen my videos on this channel before, you, you know that I talk about the fact that knowledge doubles every two and a half to three years, going to college is good, but in two and a half to three years, things become obsolete because so much more new stuff has evolved. And that, you know, it's more important to understand how to find things out, how to ask the right questions, human skills. That those are the important things because memorizing information in and of itself is helpful to a point, but there's always more to learn because we're constantly getting new information. And so that's been one of my prejudices. And, and, you know, you take a look at people that are great achievers. You take a look at, you know, Mark Zuckerberg. You take a look at Bill Gates. You know, uh, they didn't graduate from college. You know, they went into the business right, you know, before. Before they even graduated. Um, you know, Steve Wozniak and uh, Steve Jobs, same thing. All right, you follow what I'm saying? You know, these people went to school, but... You know, in the middle of school, they said, you know what, what I'm doing here is very important. Not only that, but when you listen to those people that are in the super successful group, they always tell you that the greater part of their education was learned outside of formal schooling. Now, this is, you know, a major prejudice that I had about going to college. I loved college. Uh, for me, it was the four best years of my life. Nowadays, for kids, it's the six best years they have in their life. They stay a lot longer, they do more things, or they do less things, depending upon how you look at it. But my point is that you've got to step away from your personal programming, your prejudices. And I effectively did that based upon the knowledge that things are changing so rapidly that if you learn something in four years, it becomes obsolete very quickly and you have to keep learning. That's number one. Number two, also, the best lessons you're going to learn are from mentors that have experience in your field, that have been there, done that, to help you expedite your personal growth. So that's one prejudice about, you know, in the beginning, Eli, you're going to college, absolutely, no problem, that's it, that's the deal. Well, my thoughts have changed on that. I'm going to go into that uh, in, in some additional videos, the why and becauses. The why and becauses, those are the key things. In the meantime, I also had to start looking at some of my other prejudices, which are, um, and these are things that Eli and I don't see eye to eye on. You know, having grown up in the Boston area, liberal Massachusetts, uh, I am very much opposed to guns, don't own one, have never owned one, don't want one in the house, so on and so forth. Eli, on the other hand, loves to go to the range and shoot. All right, so, you know, you have to let your kid do. Kids have dreams, goals, ambitions. You know, just like when Eli was younger, you know, I wanted him to be in love with basketball, and he wasn't. And then later on, he started to develop an affection for it, and I was glad about that. But you, as a parent, you don't want to be pushy. You don't want to push your kids into stuff. You know, you want them to develop their own passions and go in their own directions. And then, of course, another prejudice that I harbor very strongly is about tattoos. I am, like, very, very, very much against tattoos. Uh, you know, but I've learned that you don't always agree with people in every aspect. I mean, some of the people that I do business with that I have tremendous amount of respect for, you know, wouldn't go anywhere without their sidearm on their person. And while I disagree with that, I accept it. I, we agree to disagree. All right. Tattoos, the same thing. I, you know, and Eli, either I said it to him or he said it to me. He said, you know, dad, if I'm going to get at you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a tattoo of a gun on my face so that you'll see it, <laughs> all right? That would be the ultimate for me. However, 
you pre a prejudice towards certain things because of the program. So the point of this video is you need to take a look at your programming. You need to take a look at how you were brought up, how you were influenced by the people around you, your friends, your relatives, your schooling, that type of thing. And take a look at the other guy's point of view. Next time we get together, we're going to do exactly that about college education. And until that time, hey, don't ration the fashion, fashion the fashion. I'm Eli's dad.